Good morning. Hello. My name is Elise, if you don't know me. And I'm gonna test all the really mainstream uh, Cafe Nero, Greg's, all the coffees like when you're going to work or whatever, you know. Anyways, I'm gonna test them all, rate them. Also, I wanna show you my fit because I, I, lo I love what I'm wearing right now. It's like these old vintage Nike cargo pants? No, not cargo, but whatever. And then my Boston Bergs and leopard print socks. And I made this. Can you believe that I made this? I'm so happy. I crocheted it. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be so caffeinated that I'm probably gonna be talking so much shit to you, but it's gonna be really entertaining. So enjoy. <laughs> Latte, please. Yes, I've got my Costa coffee. I'm gonna try it. I mean, it is good. I think it's good, and it doesn't have that kind of like you know, Pret has this burnt coffee flavor. And if you don't like like really roasted, almost burnt uh, beans, do not go to Pret. But Costa doesn't have that. I think it's quite good, although. Yeah, it is quite good, quite creamy. Look at me being a professional. I'd, I'd say the service of the place, I mean, it's it's what you'd expect from like Costa. And I think, yeah, I think it's good. So, okay, let, let me rate it. Because I just want to be like, yeah, it's fine. No, we're going to rate it. We're here to be serious. Like, you're here to, for serious shit. Also, it was 3 30 for a small, kind of expensive, but then it's not that small. But it's more expensive than like the other places we're going to go to, you'll see. So, I mean, it's definitely, yeah, a good coffee to, if like there's a Costa like on your way or whatever, it's good. But anyways, we're gonna rate it. We're, t we're talking chain coffees, okay? I'd say for chain coffee, it's three and a half, three and a half out of five. And then for the service and the place, two and a half, three. I wouldn't necessarily want to sit down there. Although the girls in there were very nice, it's just the... I don't know, it's Pret is nicer. Okay, I shouldn't say that. Sorry, Costa. Um, and then what was my third thing? The price, yeah, expensive. I'm not gonna rate it, I'm just gonna say it's expensive. This is gonna actually be like my coffee that I'm actually gonna be drinking. And now every other place I go to, I'm just gonna have to have a taste of it, otherwise I'm gonna have probably a heart attack at the end of the day, but see ya. This time I went iced because I just don't want a warm coffee right now. Yeah, it's good, but as I said, it has a burnt coffee taste. Yeah, I think for the rest of this video, I'm probably going to go iced oat latte. The thing is, the reason I'm really quite stressed right now is that I really need to. And there are no toilets in the Pred, there are no toilets in Joan the Juice where I'm going just after, so I'm like, how am I going to do this? I can't be drinking this much coffee and not go to the toilet, you know what I'm saying? By the way, I'm not going to throw these away, probably, because I'm a cheap ass bitch. I'm probably going to, I have a thermos, I'm going to all like pour them in. Is that really gross? I don't, I don't mind. Anyways, I'm drinking it, so. To be fair, this is good. The iced coffee has less of a burnt bean taste than the burnt bean. That really is not attractive than if you take it warm. So I would rate Pret probably, this iced latte a four, out of, a four out of five in terms of coffee. I would rate the service, I mean they're really fast, like that take a minute. And Pret, you know, it's nice to work and stuff, so also a four out of five. And the price, it was 2.95, which is not that much, I can't lie, it's not that much money, like, and right now it has ice cubes, so I'm always like, surely it has less actual content in it. Like, if you don't have it iced and it's just coffee, it's actually really quite a big portion of coffee. Like, it's a lot of coffee. I so need to go to the toilets. Listen, I'm gonna go to the toilets and I'll talk to you later. <laughs> but overall, Pret is good. It's okay, yeah, it's good. It's a safe bet, you know? 
I'd say this is definitely a 5 out of 5 coffee worth. Oh my god, this is so good. <laughs> okay, so 5 out of 5 coffee worth for sure. And then uh, the place. Yeah, it's really nice. It's really fun. Like, are you Team Kanye or Pete Davidson? Because personally, I'm Team Kanye. Team Kanye. Can't lie, I, did, I don't know everything that's going on. I don't know all of the stupid things Kanye has done, okay? But as a person, like personality-wise, art-wise, I much prefer Kanye than Pete Davidson because I don't think Pete Davidson is that funny. Right? Sorry. I mean, yeah, but like he's not. I just, I actually love Kanye, and I've been told I didn't really. I've been told he's done weird shit to Kim, but I. I think he's a lovely person inside, to be fair. I don't know, obviously I don't know him, but that's my opinion. Can you see I'm really fucking caffeined up? So yeah, I'd say the place four and a half out of five, just because it's loud music. It's the only thing, but I'm sure every different place is different. This is so good. Okay, and then the price. 390? Let me check. 390. The most expensive yet. But it was nice. Like it is nice. And it's pretty nice. Going to head off to work tomorrow morning. I'll do the I'll do Greg's and Cafe Nero. So I don't think I can do another one right now. So yeah. Any other milk? Uh, can I have an iced latte, please? With oat milk. 370. It's okay. Okay, so I did try going to Greg's. They didn't have oat milk. So I went to Cafe Nero. Wait, let me find a spot where I can hide and talk. I did something to my hair last night and I filmed it. So after this video, I mean, it'll probably be out after, so like. This one is also really good because it has a good oat milk. I hate a watery oat milk, you know? It's horrible. So I would rate this and it was 370 I think which I think is quite expensive I'm, I'm in such a rush because I have to go to yoga oh my god okay I would rate this a coffee wise a four out of five um price quite expensive to be fair but I mean good quantity and like and service and place yeah same I wouldn't say there I'd probably give it like a three out of five it's not very clean like I wouldn't say that. But yeah, it's good. Good morning. Hiding my hair again. Because if you watch my next video, who's co which is coming out next week, you'll see what I'm hiding. I've got the last coffee. I was like, yeah, no. I've done five. I'm not gonna film another one. But then we had a little bit of a fail with Greg's. So I was like, okay, I'll give you another one. And okay, so this was 390, the most expensive of all from Gales, if you didn't clock it yet. This is good though. Tiny portion. I mean not tiny but like small. That it's smaller. But it's still good. It's not very cold yet. I wouldn't go for this one, to be fair, if I was out. Like, I would definitely go for the Joe and the Juice one. Or an iced Pret or an iced Cave Nero one. 
but I, I don't think I would go for Gales, if I'm honest, because, like I would if you're actually going to sit down in Gales, because in opposition with all the other ones I've been to, Gales actually has really, really nice cafes, like bakery cafes, and you would want to stay there. Whereas even Joe and the Juice, to be fair, I wouldn't stay there because it depends what shop. I've been to different ones that some are nicer, some are not as nice, but usually they're, they're not really nice, to be fair, like honestly. But Gales is so, so nice. I would rate the coffee a four and a half out of five because the winner is Joe and the Juice. Um, the price, quite expensive, and then the service, five out, five out of five. Five out of five. Which leaves us with the final ranking. In terms of value for money, number one is Pret, hands down. They had the cheapest coffee and one of the best for what it is, you know? And there are Prets everywhere. They always have any milk you could desire. No, Pret is a safe bet and to be fair, it is not expensive and quite good. In terms of actual coffee, like the best coffee is definitely Joe and the Juice, 100%. The third category would be somewhere where you would actually want to drink a coffee and that would be Gales. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm definitely gonna start a series of like testing coffees and cafes in London. So like, I'm not gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. But if you have cafes you want me to test, send them to me. Whether they're like the cheapest cafes, the most expensive cafes, the most overrated cafes, hit me. My next video where I'm telling loads of funny stories about when I was in Spain because I was a kayak guide in Spain last summer. Random. Thank you for watching this video. This was really fun. I have so much coffee at my place now because I kind of kept them each time. And then, well, sometimes I didn't actually want to drink them. So at work, I have like the end of the Joan ju the juice one by the way I put banana drops because that's what Flossie does and Jesus it ruined it so actually I should throw it away but anyways bye bye <laughs>